Today's video is gonna be special because we're gonna take a look at Lakewood Church full broadcast process. We're gonna take a look at how they film their service, how they capture and mix audio, how they control their lighting and imagery, elements and combine everything together to get what we see every sunday on youtube live or facebook live hey what's up guys my name is sam from live production tips and tools and welcome to my channel if you are new here consider joining the family by subscribing so we can navigate the live streaming world together if you're watching this video i assume you already know lakewood church but if you don't know, just want to give you an idea. It's a very big church down in Houston, Texas, led by Joel Austin that gathers every Sunday here in this main campus that has a capacity of over 16,000 uh, seats, according to Wikipedia. But as you can see, it's very, very huge. And you understand the broadcast, they have a very powerful broadcast system. Uh, if you have been following them on YouTube or Facebook Live like I do, you know how uh, their production is top notch, is on a point. If you do anything that has to do with live streaming or live broadcast, either you're small or big, it doesn't matter the size of your organization, I believe you're going to learn something from this video as I am going to tour the whole production area with some of their uh, production team members. So come along, follow me, and let's have fun. So first off, let's start looking at the cameras and the whole filming process. Lakewood Church uses eight cameras in total to film or to live stream their service. So as you can see, we got three cameras in the center, right in the front of the media booth. We got the camera number four right under on tracks. I have to mention that the time they were showing me around was in between the services so they had the first service which is an english service and they had another service which is the spanish service after so between the two services i got an opportunity to actually go around see things and you know take some clips and here and there and i believe uh, by this time either the camera was gone or was not being used but you can see the tracks they use uh, when this camera is in use, okay? Uh, we got another camera on the shoulders. If you watch Lakewood Church videos, you see this guy always uh, taking some close-ups, you know, of people playing keyboards, guitars. So uh, that's the camera number five. Then the camera number six is gonna be the one that you see on a steady cam i think you have seen these guys always going around uh in front of the stage with the steady cam with the vest so this is the camera number six seven is gonna be on one of the two jeeps they have so there's a jeep right in the front of the stage on the right side of the stage uh, as you can see this is the jeep and they have another jeep a little bit in the back close to the media booth uh, on the right side as well and that's gonna be our camera number eight okay as i spoke to the technician he was able to confirm that yes they use eight cameras and uh, looking at what i had the time i was there you can see all the cameras as i just described uh, from one to eight 
I have to mention the order by which I described or I named all the cameras may not be the same as what they use in their multi view. So this is just me trying to show you each camera uh, from one to eight. Not only the cameras have to be top quality and broadcast standard, they also need to have top quality lenses that can handle the distance, the zooming, the stabilization in order to have a smooth image for live streaming. So now that we have seen where every single camera is located within the venue, now let's see where the image is being sent before we actually get to see it on TV. This is the interesting part. Every camera is connected to a cable that is going to send the image to a different room in the back separate away from the venue. And that's the CCU room or the camera control units. So during the service, we have somebody sit here and this is the colorist. So he sits here, he dials everything, makes sure exposure is correctly and everything. He has where he has his monitors. These are actually, these look like they're off, but they're actually on. Mm -hmm. But uh, that's, that's how good these monitors are. And these are all the, these are all the power to all the cameras the CCU right here. Okay. So it's like you sit here and looks at the service and then adjust exposure. So this is just to control the camera. Yeah, it's like, not, like it's not a switcher. Yeah, just just settings like exposure. Okay. So also, everything is done here. So the operator in the room, what do they do? Just like basic zooming? What do oh, they the do? camera just, operators? Just, yeah, yeah. They, they zoom and focus. So just and zoom and focus. Yeah. That's it. Yeah. You could you could do more. But yeah, but leave it here. you guys, okay, yeah. cool. So it's only one nice person is doing that here? here? Okay. Yeah. Nice. Okay, this How many cameras in total? Uh, eight cameras. Eight cameras. Okay, cool. So once the image is done being processed, all the cameras looking good, then it's being sent to another room uh, where the switcher is and the main director is and the assistant director as well and this is the room where he's deciding which angle that goes to preview goes live right the main uh pressure control in there you can, okay. you can go inside cool this is where everything happened well right now andrew got in cameras okay you know, just everything happens here this is the main switcher okay so everything you see on stream or on the screens happens right here so what's so, so what I was doing is mm. the director, which is Guillermo, he's over here calling out cameras and I'm over here taking the cameras or playing the videos or anything that needs to so, happen. So uh, the director is still uh, sitting here? Or? Yeah, the director is here. The te here? technical director here. Okay. And the assistant director is over here. Over here, okay. Yeah. And, and so what's the difference between the main and the assistant? So the main director, he, he is calling out the, the cameras or what to take, what, what's going on. The technical director is listening to the director that what he wants is that he'll take whatever he says. Okay. The assistant director will just just uh, kind of tell the director what's happening, what's what's going to come up, and stuff like that. Okay. It, it's been pretty good. The camera one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. Yeah. So this is all. This is so all. So you can take up to. Well, you can technically take up as as to ma as many as you want. Okay. Because you can because you can customize what these all these say. Okay. And what they are, so you can have you know as many cameras as you want. Okay. Until it's shift, you get you have even more options. Okay. So yeah, it's 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 pretty endless. Yeah, that's wow. that's what we have here. Okay. So what do these computers do? So this so this this is actually calm. Okay. So this is calm. You're able to talk to. To, to anybody that's on here. Okay. And obviously, this is customizable and everything is done. Yeah. You can do that. This is a, uh, what's it called? Planning center. So you know what's coming up in the services. Mm -hmm. So you know that you'll start out whatever and you'll, you'll know what's next. And everything is timed over there whenever, okay. whenever it starts. Okay. So the music, that's the service. Yeah, that's, what, that's what's going on right now inside right now. Okay. Right now they're rehearsing. Okay. They can basically hear it. Correct. Nice. So uh, the multi-view is for all the cameras, your pro presenter, like graphics, I believe. Yeah, you have yeah, a little bit already. And that's, that's your program. The program one. is this right here. 
This is program, this is preview. Okay. And this is iMac, the, this is what, what's going on inside the sanctuary, the screens. Okay. This is where, what the stream sees, and then it, wherever you're taking it. Which one? The middle program one is the main, the main, middle one's the main program. Okay. Yeah. And then you have iMac, and then preview. Nice. And that's uh, your clock? Yeah, that's just the current time. Okay. You know, whatever goes live, that's what we see on TV, on YouTube live, or Facebook live. And that's how it's done. So let's remember, when we are watching on TV, we are not only watching the image, we are also hearing the audio. So this brings us to the audio part. As per our conversation with one of the engineers, the stage mics, the musicians, audience mics, the choir, the pastor, and everything audio makes 162 channels. That's a lot of channels to process. So they take all the channels from the room and they split them three ways. One way goes to the front of house mixing console, which is the main mixing console that is located in the main media booth that you can see in the center of the venue. So the other part is sent to the guy mixing for in-ear monitors for musicians, the band, the choir, or anyone on stage. This guy is seated in a separate room He's actually a little bit in the room backstage as I was able to actually see it and see him. And the third part is actually sent to the guy mixing for online broadcast or, you know, YouTube or Facebook live. So basically that's the sound that we hear every time. If you watch Lakewood Church online on YouTube or Facebook live, this is the guy mixing for us. Yeah, yeah. So this, this is the main uh, this is, audio. Okay. Welcome, welcome. Thanks, man. So you guys uh, mix for the live broadcast? Yes, exactly. So live broadcast, anything they hear like on the radio, the website, Facebook, YouTube comes from us. Nice. It's pretty awesome, right? Yeah, it's cool. That's a huge mixing board. Yes, it is a hefty board. Euphonics 5B. Um, we are mixing 162 channels. 162? Mm-hmm. Coming from down there. Coming from, yeah. Downstairs. So that's what? Uh, the band? That's band, audience mics, effects, uh, singers, BGVs. Okay. Uh, worship leaders. Um, plenty of ambient mics. We do like to capture the sound of the room. So we have 16 mics laid out throughout the auditorium, plus a couple on stage, just to get the feel of the band. Yeah, it's quite a lot, right? But it's fun. Yeah, it looks fun. <laughs> so, um, okay, that's, that's these are your monitors. Yeah, so we have a pair of NS10s that we're running. Um, some Genelex off to the side, just as reference, but we mainly mix off of these NS10s. Okay, so why is it important for you to have the multi view uh, over there, the monitor? Well, since we are five floors good. away, and I'm not entirely sure who's on stage, having the multi view helps me mix to what people are seeing online. Since I am mixing for my final listener, is somebody online? Okay. Uh, me being able to see it, I can okay. mix to what's uh, on screens. Okay. Nice. Yeah, it's pretty fun. Okay. Welcome. Cool. Thanks. Mm -hmm. So what about him? This is our legend. (laughs) (laughs) His name's Craig. I'm just recording everything. He has the most important part of, he has the most important job. And that is to make sure that every single channel gets recorded. Um, We do multi-track every single uh, service. Okay. And we're able to then go back and edit the service or edit past the sermon so he is a legend <laughs> so are you guys going to publish after like a clean version of the service afterwards right, or a remix version so we all take out depending on what's going on during the audience mics we, we just really clean it up so what we see on tv on sunday it's not the same thing as well we're gonna see like a week after exactly. yeah on youtube so after live stream you kind of kill it Mm-hmm. and then upload a new better version exactly yeah so we will tweak our mistakes and um 
recut. I, I think video wise, maybe Uzi can speak on this. He, he I think we recut all of Pastor Sermon. We remix it just to make it sound prettier. Nice. Yeah. So the last part is gonna be the lighting part. As you can see, the venue is full of fixtures from stage, backstage, within the venue itself, in the ceiling, everywhere, okay? I don't know the exact number, but everything runs on this two grand MA uh, lighting console. Do you guys pre-program everything or like, mm -hmm. yeah. it's already done for your Spanish service, already done? Yeah, for the most part, Spanish is a, Spanish is a little more flexible. Okay. Um, but for English, it's all pre-programmed. We rehearse on Saturday. Okay. And prior to that, they give me the stems, uh, usually about Monday, Tuesday. So we're able to like program things out, uh, usually Thursday, Friday, and then Saturday. Nice. Yeah. Okay, so why do you have two consoles? Uh, one you got... is, uh, it's the backup slash uh, the uh, my L2 system. Okay. So it runs uh, house lighting and public phones. Ah, okay, perfect. So, so have everything else. Sometimes we have one guy uh, running everything or we may have two guys, one on the main uh, console and the other one on the second console. Other than that, you can see on every single station, we have a lot of volunteers, uh, some of them running a uh, pro presenter, for example, for uh, lyrics and Bible verses or any other graphics. We've got this guy, uh, actually running another program for imagery so all the graphics or the backgrounds you see on the main big screen and we got other volunteers you know running different things on computers as you can see it's a very very huge team but to summarize the final product is a combination of the image coming from the cameras the audio coming from the broadcast mix and the graphics coming from different computers or pro presenter for like bible verses lower thirds uh lyrics and all that kind of stuff plus the lighting and imagery elements coming from the lighting guy and this guy on the imagery computer and that is what we see on tv so apart from what we see live on sunday or any other day there's also some of the clips songs recorded at lakewood church so like all the things that we see that being posted on their youtube channel okay these are things that were recorded live but they take time to actually edit them. So this is where a lot of our editors, uh, they have uh, their own edit bays. Okay. And they do all the mini, they do the broadcast, and then they also do testimony stories. Can I go inside? Uh, yeah, let's move on this one right here. Okay. Yeah. That's this, yours? No, this, uh, this is Andrew's, the guy we were, okay. were with. Okay. This is his edit bay, and then what we have here, these are, so actually all the computers are in the central machine, we'll show you in a bit. Okay. All we have here are the screens, Okay. And the machines and everything. So this is his little edit bay. He does. He made a Spanish and a couple of what he does for English is he, he's the main DP. Okay. He uh he lights everything. He shoots everything. But this is where this is his office. This is where he edits. Nice. Mm -hmm. So this is, so, so what kind of what software do you use for editing your videos? Uh, Premiere. Premiere. We, we do we do, we do all Adobe Premiere and After Effects and all that. Okay. Cool. But, um, yeah, these are all editing rooms for. During okay. the week, everybody's in here editing or okay. we're doing the broadcast. Um, and here, this is where I was talking about. This is main central machine. This is where all the servers and all the cords and everything like that. Okay. And actually, if you see right here, these are all the old shows. So you have anything? Yeah. You have something from July eighth, July twenty eighth, two thousand nine. So every single show is, is in here on nice. cassette or DVD. Wow. Yeah, so everything is here. Wow. Yeah. You have it. Then you have here 2007. So it goes all the way around. And then wow. here are the computers that you saw in there. Yeah. So here are all the, here's the, the Mac Pros. But we're actually getting new ones pretty soon. So, so like nice. all these are computers? Yeah. Well, yeah. Well, these right here. Yeah. Okay. 
So and like then, everybody's connected via uh, some sort of yeah, SM some, monitor. Some network, yeah. Okay, so every everybody's on a network. Right? Yeah, yeah, correct, correct. So you okay. can like share stuff between stuff like that, and then so the computers are here, and then all the cables are run underneath in the ground. Okay. Into the each uh, individual area. Sorry. And actually, I was surprised because you can see some of the tools that they use are actually what we use, you know, apart from like big switchers and big cameras and big lenses and that kind of stuff. You can see they use Premiere for editing, which is what I use for editing. Uh, they use the Stream Dex, which is something that most of small churches or small uh, dudes like me use. Uh, they use ProPresenter. So like there's so many things that they use that we, that we actually use and you can see that even though it's on a bigger scale, it's something that you can replicate as I said at the beginning of this video, regardless of how big or small or how big of a budget or small of budget that you have. So guys, no excuses. Uh, if you've been watching this video, I want to challenge you to actually take something they have learned on the bigger scale from this video and try to implement uh, this, uh, the same practices into your church or into your organization or your events, depending on what you do. Personally, I got inspired. I'm going to implement some of the practices in my local church, as well as my other events that I do sometimes because I'm a freelancer. It could be a church service, it could be a concert, it could be anything that I'm producing live. I'm gonna be actually using some of the techniques and uh, practices that I got from these guys, okay? So guys, I hope you got inspired by watching this video. If you have questions, feel free to put it down in the comments. Uh, on this channel, I talk about live production tips and tools. So feel free to watch some of my other videos about cameras and stuff. Other than that, if you're still watching, make sure you hit like if you haven't yet. Don't forget to join the live production tips and tools family by subscribing to my channel. Guys, thank you so much for hanging out with me. Thank you to Lakewood and Joe Ministry for showing me around. Thank you guys for watching and I'll see you on my next video. Take care.